Wally here, and Wally, and happy St. Patrick's Day! Yay! And welcome to another episode of OPP, Other People's Projects. Well, today I have items from five people, so woo, yeah! The first projects are from Thomas Ball. He has this cross that he made, and it looks like it's like two-in-one type of a deal. Pretty cool. He also made this butterfly. Nice. And he also made this sign that says, Happy Home. He made that shelf, he said, a couple years back. So thanks for sharing those, Thomas. Next is Linda Bush, and she has some more ornaments that she made. This Mickey Mouse is from Clip Art, and so she made a little uh, intarsia type thing with that. And then the polar bears are from a scroll saw pattern that she had. She said that they are made out of 3 8 inch basswood and she cuts them out and then she protrudes them forward a little bit and puts them back on the cutout to make them you know, stick out a little bit for the ornament. She says she tries to find all different ways to make them all the time and they're really cool, Linda, so thanks for sharing those with us. Next is from Phil Gavin from England and he has a couple of things here, or three things. First of all is this clock, and he said it is a Steve Good pattern. Very nice. And he used Iroko, Ash, and Wenge, or Wenge. Have we ever figured out which way you're supposed to say that? I don't know. Anyway, the clock looks great. The next one is a cross that he made that he ended up giving to his uncle, and it is made out of American white oak, ash, and paduk. And this last item that he made is out of pen blanks. And I thought this was so cool because sometimes you just don't want to turn a pen. I've never turned a pen. I would like to, but I haven't. But I buy pen blanks to make stuff out of, and I thought this was a great idea to, to use pen blanks. So neat, Phil. Thank you. These next items are from my cousin's wife, Teresa, and they live in Texas, and she does a whole bunch of different types of things. But these are some drawings that she has done. Yeah, pretty cool. And this dog is actually one of their dogs that they have. So very nice. Thank you. Okay, the next projects are from Husband. And since he's right here, I thought that he could come on in and tell you about them. Wait, where's your green stuff? Where's your St. Patrick's Day stuff? I don't have it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, then you need a whole kitty. Oh. I, I can do that. <laughs> Give my lovey doggy. See, Gibby's, Gibby's has his There's my gum. Oh, Gibby. There's my green. It's on my givers. <laughs> this is a dining room poker table combination that I made for um, some of our best friends. And this other one is a couple dressers that I made out of cherry that have uh, dovetail drawers and stuff. And they are for our daughters. So what I wanted to say about the table was that he has the inside of it is lined with felt and it's so that they can play poker. And then when they're done playing poker, they just put the top back on it and it looks just like a regular old dining room. So thanks for joining me again, everybody, and have a super St. Patrick's Day. And please send me projects. If you want me to show a project, then just send it to me by email, um, social medias, whatever. So if you just want to show me a project and you don't want me to share it, just let me know and I won't share it. But if you want me to share it, then I sure will. Right, Wally? So again, thanks everybody and we will see you next time. Bye! You want to be right there. So come with the same with the Okay, good.